praise God. Virgin Meals Monday, what you want Wednesday. Fast food Friday, what else can he share? It's Nicole's Kitchen, where the satisfying meals are prepared. Welcome back to Nico's Kitchen. It is Fast Food Friday where we recreate some of the world's most iconic fast food dishes and today we're making the IKEA Swedish meatballs. These are so famous, so delicious and I'm going to teach you how you can make them at home. So first of all, straight into a large bowl, what I've got here is some ground up beef and also some ground up pork as well. Now you want about an 80-20 split on these, which means 80% meat, 20% fat. And to the beef and pork, we're gonna be adding in some finely chopped onion. Also gonna be adding in some breadcrumbs. Make sure you use dried breadcrumbs, not fresh breadcrumbs. Next, we're gonna be placing in some white pepper, some allspice, which gives a nice touch, some salt, and for our wet ingredients, we're gonna be placing in some beef broth or beef stock, an egg white, and one egg as well. Now make sure your hands are clean for this. We're just going to mix this all around until all that mixture is well combined. And this is exactly what we're after. Beautiful, it smells amazing as well, which is really, really good. So now, we're going to roll them into balls, and your hands should already be wet. So just roll them into balls, and then we're gonna place them on a baking tray, just lined with some baking paper. So these now go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or 180 degrees Celsius, for 20 to 25 minutes, just until they start to go brown. And halfway through, just give them a turn as well, So while our meatballs are cooking, we're gonna get started on our cream sauce to go with them. So just into a pot, I'm gonna be adding in some beef stock or beef broth, some cream, some apple juice, some garlic powder, onion powder, some white pepper, some salt, and some cornstarch or corn flour. And over a medium heat, just bring it up to a boil, it should take about six to seven minutes, and just keep whisking that through and what you'll find is it will start to thicken slightly and just reduce down. And then right at the end, turn off the heat and then add in a bay leaf, a fresh bay leaf, and just leave it sit for about five minutes. After five minutes, take out the bay leaf and then pour it into a pouring jug and your cream sauce is set to go. Now once our meatballs come out of the oven, we want to put them in the pan just to finish off the cooking process. And you just want to add a little bit of vegetable oil and only for about three or four minutes over medium to high heat, just mix them around, roll them around in the pan and just finish off the cooking. And then we can serve them up. So there it is, Ikea meatballs. How good do these bad daddies look? And the smell is just off the charts and I'm gonna taste them right now. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They taste, man, do they taste like the real thing. Wow, <laughs> that's really good. They're beautiful, that cream sauce is lovely with it. That onion through that meatball is just great. They're soft, they're creamy, they're flavorful. It's everything you want out of a meatball. And that's why they're so popular. Now these can be frozen as well. Before we start cooking them, or you can actually cook them and then freeze them. So put them in the little bags and freeze them as well. You can do that, just don't add the sauce on top. But you can make these ahead of time. It's so easy to do, and you know what? everyone is gonna get stuck into these and just adore them.